Hi, I'm Frank Turner from Gadgetronics. In this video, I want to talk about a Tiny85 microcontroller and its features and why it is so special and why it's worth learning. Let's begin. A Tiny85 is a 8-pin, 8 8-bit 8 microcontroller. It was, re it was first developed by Atmel in 1999 and microchip technology recently acquired Atmel. So you may not see Atmel's name in a Tiny85 anymore, but it still belongs to the AVI class family and you will get, you will get to use all the tool chains and uh, IDs that are still associated with Atmel. It still supports them. And one of the main thing I got off into a, a Tiny85 is that when I was working on a wearable project, I was a uh, wearable glove and I want to look into a microcontroller that will have, uh, that will uh, fit into my space constraint and still provides all the robust features that a modern microcontroller has. A Tiny85 has all the features and it also comes in 8 pin 8 pin package so it is very compact in fact i can show you a uh, module one, one one here so this is the uh, digistum development board and you can see the microcontroller right here so this is the microcontroller so it just fits into your uh, finger so uh, that is what's so special about microcontroller it's very compact it's it is made up of 8 pins and it it can fit into any project for a for a wearable project or robotic project or automotive project and power projects these this will be very great and this is one of the tssop package here and this is a pdip package so uh, you can just plug into a uh, breadboard and you you still got a lot of room around to play and that is why this atani 85 is extremely special and still it has got all the features that uh, that they're supported by all the modern microcontrollers so um, speaking of architecture, so at any 85 is uh, developed based on RISC architecture, reduced instruction set computer. So when I say reduced instruction set, when a manufacturer produces a microcontroller, he will be assigning, he or they will be assigning a specific set of instructions that might, must be used in order to program a microcontroller. For example, you might have seen uh, commands such as move, MOV, uh, A slash B, um, MOV, uh, B slash A, something like this. So, so these are the set of instructions that will be specified by the manufacturer. When you are programming a microcontroller using assembly languages, you need to use these set of instructions in order to program your controllers. So when coming to reduced risk architecture microcontroller, so it means that the instruction sets are very much optimized and it takes only very less machine cycle to process. So when a microcontroller instruction takes less machine cycle, it means the speed and the optimization will be very much more and the power consumption will be very less. So that's the different major difference between risk architecture microcontroller and Cisco architecture microcontroller. So always risk architectures will be uh, it will be very easy to program and it has very less number of instructions for you to understand for your user or uh, anyone to go through and so that it, the programming will be much easier and it will be very complex to deal with so being a risk architecture microcontroller at any 85 uh, provides robust applications uh, but still it has optimized performance for uh, for any projects that you may want to use So it has four channels of ADC uh, unlock to digital converter. It is a 10 bit unlock to digital converter. It has four channels. So it means you can connect four sensors or four buttons or anything that need that any unlock signal that needs to be translated. It can operate using four channels at a time. So it also has analog comparator. So analog comparator is used when you want to compare two analog signals to see which one has higher amplitude. So this comparator will tell you which signal has higher amplitude so that you can make a decision using your uh, using the software and it also has inbuilt temperature measurement so uh, you don't need some sensors such as LM35 or anything in order to measure the external room temperature or external temperature uh, I think the range uh, it can measure temperature is from minus 45 degrees to 85 uh, plus 85 degrees so that is quite a wide range of temperature that is available so it can be, it can be pretty handy without using an external sensor and uh, next comes interrupts interrupts are very important uh, interrupts are mainly meant to deal with any event uh, that requires um, 
program memory and execution from the micro attention from the microcontroller so uh, for example you have external interrupts where any external interrupt of any external event will trigger the interrupt and uh, programming microcontroller the processor has to stop the exec execution of whatever whatever instruction it is being executed and it needs to give the total attention to the event that is happening and that is where interrupts come into place and we have about 16 interrupt sources and uh, so it ranges from reset external interrupt brownout detector and uh, then comes uh, timer interrupts counter interrupts uh, then pwm interrupts so these are the number of uh, and uh, serial communication interrupts these are the set of interrupts that is being available there are total 16 uh, that is a, quite a great feature and uh, then comes inter external calibrated oscillator so we don't need any external oscillator such as crystal oscillator in order to feed the clock frequency pulses to our microcontroller so we have an inbuilt RC uh, or calibrated oscillator within it is capable of delivering up to 20 megahertz of clock frequency so that is quite a great speed uh, to run our microcontroller and uh, we don't need any external components we just need to hook up the power to vcc and ground your microcontroller will be all set to run and uh, that is one and next have we have usa module which is universal serial interface so we don't have a specific uart here uh, rather than that we have usa module which it can be configured to operate as SPI or I2C protocol. These two are the serial communication protocols that is available in our tiny 85. So SPI and I2C, these are incredibly powerful protocols and almost all the modern microcontrollers and sensors and some displays have those protocols. And uh, so being ha having these two protocols is extremely handy for any projects. And uh, that is one powerful um, feature to have. And then comes the sleep mode. So as I said, this Atani 85S will be extremely handy when we need to deal with a portable application. So when it comes a portable application, we need to save as much as power as we can. So be it a wearable project or be it a, be it a, in an automotive project or robotic project. So when it runs on external, on, not on a wall socket or um, yeah, permanent power source or uh, temporary power source such as battery. So these sleep modes will save tons and tons of power and providing your uh, providing the project a great edge so uh, this not only come from the space perspective this from a power perspective this a microcontroller can be can do a great job with these sleep modes and then comes the six io pins which is used to activate and deactivate uh, so that is pretty much common in all the microcontrollers these are some of the most important um, features in a 1085 microcontroller and uh, and this will be, be extremely handy when it comes to um, when it comes to building a project or um, it has it, it can be deployed in, in many type of projects thanks for watching this video this is one of the many videos that i am going to publish in this channel uh, about our tiny 85 microcontroller and how to program it and how to use all the features so this is the first video and i have also uh, prepared a tutorial article that summarizes almost how to program and use all the features that is being present and you can see the see the preview of this um, of this article tutorial here and i have link left the link in the description below so you can check it out and you have you can uh, find the tutorials there and it will be pretty much useful for you and uh, stay up to date uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll publish more videos about our 1085 very soon thank you see you soon